Ushelo ushelo la call chanda. You make you move to PC one. Zanzi for sure. Ushelo look let's tell us some business. A benza is in this buwa. Oh, ona lo mukaka lo na oma business. Namka ni sisi hamu nskral. Etemb. Kula kona so profile ge intongas. E uso ma business. Ogu lo mukaka ge lo na we zintolez. E zok printag. Ba transcriber. Ba pinda futi ba shai translation. Lo mukaka lo. Aglu lo ngena go na ge. Kwa yabo na ukabani ya kulu. Watu ni kuwa ukabani. Ba printag. Hamakama maning. Hamamakazin. Kia fundo. Kia le na le. Kuto stock zani na sibo na gutu spateli. Each week the entrepreneurs will be given tasks by their mentor which they need to complete in a day in order to take their business forward. They will receive points for their performance from a panel of judges. The points will be awarded on these criteria. Problem solving skills, 4 points. Time management skills, 3 points. Completion of tasks, 3 points. Each entrepreneur will also have an opportunity to pitch for an investment of 10,000 rand for making moves into their business. On the basis of the pitch, the judges will use their discretion to decide how much they want to invest into the business. They can invest any amount between 0 rand to 10,000 rand. Should the judges decide to invest less than 10,000 rand, the remaining amount will go to the Making Moves Bank. For the third week in running, Steve and Amelia still occupy first and second position respectively. They are now joined by Pasaka and Moigeti in third position. And the kitty in the Making Moves Bank has now increased to 38,000 Rand. Remember, this money will be up for grabs in our last episode. Dumingling established a publishing company in 2009 after spending over five years in a corporate environment. This is where I was born and bred. I grew up in the house of the people who were born and the people who were born and 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 the age gap between my sister and I is nearly three years. And um, I had issues with the fact that she was sort of like considered the older sister and she was allowed to go out and I wasn't allowed to go out. And for me, I was like, what's three years? Like, really? You know, literally, really, or something like that? Because I couldn't understand why my parents wouldn't let me go out. As a child, Nali, she was a brilliant child. And who won it? She was a grade five. Ne ho Nali a competition yadi yadi school kolo zidi mo haufize. And then ne ho Nali kolo saro na sa Nali refitle primary school. Top ten is the most kolo saro na Nali one of top ten students. Do me nga na one. O Nali ba na ba ba her elder sister way two. She's late. Do me is a great aunt because. She always motivates us to do the best that we can do. We can live on our babatan, a cabuchan, and a basimana vidi, lel or oma basimano rubes, levasana, babararo, oma basana, or rubesian, and to me, Nalamohara and Habasana babit. Experiences were different when I compared to the passing of my bigger brother versus. Um, the passing of my older sister. I'm going to need tissues. She's a, a loving and caring king a parent this time. A loving and caring parent. I'm the best auntie in the whole world. Because I see my sister's kids as my own kids. I mean, you've seen my niece, she's like 21. But I make sure that she has everything, you know, I talk up. I love her sense of style, basically. And I love that she just speaks her mind. Six Saratanga to me number one go out for a school. And six Saratanga happy guy and answers for look horror. Yannick Yaka and Nicky Wagger, she's bold, strong. Her strong qualities are 
uh, her leadership skills I think because I think she's a great leader she's able to just put people together and take them to I mean the peak of the mountain I like hiking I like going out with my friends I like hiking um, I like sort of like traveling and here reading books and um, I don't read a book once not twice not even 200 times I read a book 2,000 times literally Hey, sixa sarateng okaras <laughs> tengkar na niki sarate he he kiri bulele le na okari kikia mu kalimela ya nong ar directan na thare emama wa chana chala wira ya skala sala sela sisin singi ana liri ana mara agero hule me orateng wana orayal. What I don't like, I guess pretentious people and people that are just about me 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 me, you know. Um, there comes a point in your life where you have to think about people around you. There comes a point in your life where you have to make sacrifices to make sure that the people around you do not suffer. It's never, it's not going to be about you all the time. Like seriously, you're not that important. Thank you very much for a fan of your how and welcoming us most of it Sunday. Okay. Please go about about your business. What is your business all about? Later. My business name is called to me Lee Studios. We're basically in the business of sort of like educating the bottom end of the market in a language and context that they're most familiar with. Uh, we do it by way of translations. Um, we do translation services that translate that from English into all 11 official languages of South Africa, as well as foreign languages such as French, German, uh, Mandarin. Um, and stuff like that. And we also do children's books. We publish children's books. The magazine Kia Kopel, we are yes. kickstarting. Yes. What made you decide already, right now, when you are kickstarting yourself, you're going into business? What gave you that kickstart? Yeah, you know, because before I started the Kickstart magazine, I got to start doing translation services. Okay. And again, I started to translate because I looked at the you know, and I realized that my mom was a teacher for many years, or that's a teacher, you know, and it was not correct. Like, if it was a lot of lies, I are we all, this is how we say it. Yeah. Um, so I felt, well, okay, then I don't have to go outside, go back to translate because I can translate it. And my mom is retired, she's 68, so she's a grandma. All she wanted to do has not retired, I was just to just stay at home and look after her grandkids. But then I became convinced I had to back blackmail her because Nasa Batlu Baraka happy. You know how retired also na kuwela bang. So you know similar business is one of the things but Walangatwana is capital. Yes. To start a business is chalete is a stumbling block. For you, capital how are we similar business? Where did you get it from? I had absolutely zero. In fact when I started my business I was in debt. Wow. You know? And that's why I decided to come home and so, start here at my mom at my mom's house because there was no way that I would have done it when I kill a good thing, you know. Businesses have a good clients, you know, it's all yes. well and good. The recover and all the business the clients the thing. It's those people that I approach. So my clients go, like I said, human sciences research council, mm -hmm. medical research council, the world vision, um Parking, um, Kofisa, there's also people like um, SARS. Do you understand? Anybody that needs to communicate with. When are the employees there? Um, I have, in terms of as too many studios, yes. um, for Kickstart, I have 11 for Kickstart. Okay. But got translation services, I use freelancers and up to 20 freelancers because I. Um, I use different languages. Location is the most important thing about your business. Yeah. Where you are based, they say it says a lot about who you are. Where do you guys work from? Now we are actually based right where I am. Because then if you go out there and get fancy offices and you cannot afford to pay them, who are you fooling? You know what I mean? So I wanted to make it okay for small businesses to start where you are cool. with the little that you have. Start more. Because where else are you going to start? You're not going to start most in what they. Yeah. You can only start where you are. I am a journalist and a publicist for Kickstart. So basically, um, I write all the features and do all the audio and video recordings for the interviews. Oxen's um, Anatomingly, it's a joy because it's not like I found her. She outsourced me and gave me a break of working in a magazine. I was working in a newspaper. So, and I've always wanted Oxen's a magazine and she gave me that break because she recognized my writing skills and encouraged me to feel that I'm a better writer and actually gave me the opportunity 
to explore in my writing. What I like about Dimingli is that she is a very open person. Like with most people that you work for or you work with, that's not normally the case. She she teaches you everything. She tells you everything as it is. Business is all smooth and what's or not. And you actually see it happening. So like newborn. What I don't like about Dimingli is that she is too friendly. <laughs> um, I think she makes everyone her priority. So whenever someone else comes in, that person will become the priority and I'll become the backseater now. And I think people take advantage of her, especially in the magazine with advertising space and what so not. People um, have a way of manipulating her. So the challenge is on Alan so on a good business in your house. Um, I think the biggest one is we under resourced. Um, especially that's not returning to the magazine space. Um, because your yeah, magazine printing costs. You know? Uh, How do printing waga cost or what exactly in printing? Yeah, I would say the costs. Okay. Because um, I'm a small business and I can sell product. It needs to be a quality product mm -hmm. because when you're small, the big boys they don't like what there's a new, you know, sort of like girl in the, you know, yeah, um, in the scene, the in the block, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and so, but it's here by scrutinize by ring. So when the quality is bad already, yeah. you know, it speaks badly of you. Yeah. So you have to make sure you get a good quality product, and it costs money to have a good quality product. <laughs> Ooh, that filing system. <laughs> and I don't even know why you guys are showing this today. Yeah. <laughs>down skill from one person to another. My greatest achievement is uh, there's one thing about Basai Tsebe. He distilled cell phone banking into this country in 1999. He ran an academy of coaching psychologists. He said it's a commencer. He a coaching and mentoring body. My good job about making moves, making me emotion, making me excited. Because in far opportunity, I would like particularly the entrepreneurs, babaling more programmer, who are able to start by Lord Bakena into the space of entrepreneurship, makes it very important for me. So I'm very excited to be part of the program. Alright. Alright, so maybe before the time of maybe you can show me around the one of what's happening in your business. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay. 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 So, Mungesi, this is the place where I work. The computer. Actually, the stuff over here, it's um, the editing suite. I never get to use it. It's only the video person that does that because when we do the cover interviews for Kickstart magazine, we also film it as well. Let me check her. It's for you, the issue of where you work is not an issue. It's not. The clients? Um, the clients are actually going to see clients, and Honora Nung Kickstart magazine has actually landed a big client as an APSA. Yeah. Um, they've actually bought four pages okay. in, in the magazine. Yeah. Um, um, so where they will be pro profiling. No, I back my all. I always okay. go there, yeah. The award that I have here in my hand, the award that I got um, go ESCOM, got 20, 2010. Um, I only had translation services at the time, like so published the booker. Um, I was runner-up in my category. 
and this one here oops that was heavy eh as the one that i got last year go africa smm awards um good thing i only had children's books at the time i still haven't worked on the magazine and um i was also runner up in my in the service category Ooh, that filing system <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, is it, yeah, is it a filing system or a it, piling system? It's a filing system, but today it's a piling system and I don't even know why you guys are showing this today. <laughs> what is it that you want to tell me about the business? What do you want me to know? Um, I guess what I want you to know is the fact that we are a small business and um basically we make the most of what we have. Um we're doing so many things but currently um like I said it's translation services we do book publishing but currently our focus is on the magazine which is Kickstart because so if focus on like for Kickstart for for now because yeah. it's demanding yeah. Yeah. We look for another translation services yes. for the link bonik to bonik like are tlaka tlaka Kickstart is my pride and joy because it's something that I've always wanted to do the moment I entered um into the small business space. It like a startup or startup business I realized when nobody's talking to me this moment. Nobody understands my problems, you know? Um the first issue for example it was just basically getting you to get started i had articles like starting a business from home because that's where people start mm. you know but nobody talks about stuff like mm. that but you know with an expert go work at kick starting the small business person because i am kick start i am kick start do you understand what i mean um a wise a wise man once said that if you really want to succeed in what you do solve the problems you understand yeah i cannot go and solve problems six at the okay. so i understand the problems of a kickstarter yeah. and that's why i felt there's a gap in the market in terms of this yeah. and you must also understand that in kickstarter we have contributors yeah. so i don't contribute every single article yeah. you know in it we have people like dr fitzroy and bursley that talks yeah. about bee it's yeah. it's a heavy topic yeah. but he understands it so well yeah. and he tackles such issues we have um um a german entrepreneur by the name of sasha glowick um he talks about business model canvas okay. you know i've had it for the first time so from him we have contributors exactly okay you mean lee i find her is very determined um mara ish on a little thing at the table it looks like they are running mara probably not the issue could be focus the reason i have so many services is because in the beginning i didn't have money and translation helped me to raise the money okay. without translation i wouldn't even have kickstart to begin with yes. because you're not to stay to have income yes. coming through yes. because like you're not the cost that thing to go last attack you know yeah. um i get translation work via email get translate like a send la back and it's an ideal business to have yeah. i get very excited when i talk about my business because sometimes i feel like i'm being misunderstood in terms of where i started where i am and where i'm going and for some people it looks like i'm doing a whole lot of things and i'm spreading myself too thin but it's not it doesn't even feel like work to me if you were to go precise okay the bull shapa this one precise dream you have five years from now what think, does it look like? okay five years from now i actually want to quadruple um the print run um currently i'm at 5000 i in the next five years i want it to be at 20000 because i strongly believe right now we're selling 50% of our print run and i strongly believe it doesn't matter what quantity it is whether i get 10000 or sell 5000 or more yes. whether i get 20000 or sell 10000 or more yeah. because it has proven that there is a market okay. we are servicing a market that was not been serviced before yeah. you know and they're hungry for it they're going out there and they're buying it mm. and the distributor CNA stores nationwide yeah. everywhere um Sasol and Engine garages and it's also been sold in Namibia. So right. what is that thing in uh, when if you do yes it will result in, in you not having you getting what you want. I think that one thing is getting a partner it's not just about because the people that I have or the companies that are my clients right now they just like buying advertising which is good oh, okay. it helps to cover printing costs it's okay but what i want as a solid partner getting a partner will um sort of like help my business a great deal because i'm not looking for an individual partner i'm looking for a, a corporate partner so um a company that has the financial muscle 
to be able to take the magazine forward. And obviously this is an investment, BE, sort of like investment um, strategy that I'm looking at. So they'll also be benefiting, you know. Um, in terms of BBE, you know, there's the enterprise development aspect of it. So they will get points for doing business with the black woman and BE level three. And in exchange, I will make sure that I get the brand out there and that um, together we can make sure that we actually reach, reach the entrepreneurs that we want to reach. I get a lot of BBE. Yes. Let's assume Corey, the yeah, this EDI partner, uh, uh, entrepreneur yes. development partner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A black woman associated with me. Yippee. Yes. What do you want from me? I want you to help us cover the operational cost to incubate me for a period of a year. What does cover me? Um it's um we explain what our do I, requirements do I, are. Do I put money in my pocket and give you money? Do I buy the magazine? Do I? It's different ways in which you, okay. It's different ways in which you could get it involved. For example, um, like we said, the, the level at which kicks that magazine is pitched. It's talking to anybody that's starting out a business. The language is understandable. It's very simple. Um, the partner, first of all, what they can do is sort of like buy. A print run, a certain percentage of a print run. Um, they can buy 5,000 copies, they can buy 10,000 copies, and for us to distribute those in FET colleges and also in metric. Anything else? It sounds like if I identified two, you can get the cash flow from yes. in terms of partner, partner the, the person that you're partnering with. Yes. Is there any other thing that we're living that you can be really precise about? I would love to actually become the ambassador of that brand mm. and for me to actually go out there to communities and educate, mm. you know, especially my teachers. I prefer schools because mm. then, um, and FET colleges because it's structured yeah. um, and you can find them in groups where I can actually go there and talk to them about starting their businesses mm. and um, because I feel like I'm in the best position to tell people to start where they are. I've heard of entrepreneurs paying with 30,000, 40,000 to be featured in publications. Yeah. A small business can afford for that. You spoke now about getting advertising, uh, getting space. Yeah, at get at them the page, to sponsor pages, at least the page. All they have to do is get that page, they sponsor a page. And the reason why I say they sponsor a page and they do not advertise is because in that space, that two pages preferably, that's actually a good way to start. Yeah. Then I will be putting a profile here, yeah, an entrepreneur that has worked very hard, but cannot afford to pay that space yeah. in order to be noticed. Yeah. I've heard of entrepreneurs paying both 30,000, 40,000 to be featured in publications. Yeah. A small business cannot afford cannot that. Afford that. So so we can work together to make sure that they get cool. the help that they need. Let's talk about what are you now beginning to think about the next really important action. So there's two things, uh, long, uh, medium term, short term. Okay. What is it that you need to do tomorrow in order to get here? Okay. I think what I need to do as in tomorrow is to put together a business um, BEE investment proposal. That's what okay. I call it. This is the proposal that's going to go out to these companies to say, here I am, my name is Tumindi, mm. I'm the owner of Tumindi Studios, and one of my projects that I'm currently working on is Kickstart Magazine. Mm. It's available in so many stores. This yeah. is what it does in terms of helping raise the profiles of entrepreneurs. Yeah. We have EcoCrazy, cool. you know, FM yeah. that's come on board that's so helping do that. So it goes there, to say, you, this is where to you say, fit in. This is who I am and this is what I'm bringing to you. Yes. So almost this, this conversation we've been having, yes. it's now heavy it with them instead of now me sitting on yes. this side it's them sitting on this side yes excellent um i think i think referred it and like okay so, so i'm going to summarize I mean, in terms of what's going to happen next okay for you uh sorry adrilika uh investment proposal yes uh, to get a draft you said for it like a draft you know adrilika the visible visibility strategy mm -hmm. or at least the yeah um some of the awards company mm -hmm. after the session Leon, um on the the plan but on us show sure it works or not so the work in terms of our after our conversation really is precise or as a or what i in what what i'm going to come out 
So is that all you have to say about it? Uh, all she needs to do is to focus. Mm. Or, or understand. Um, um, because we're enthusiastic. Yeah. And uh, then we Oh, but everywhere. Yeah, I, I copy what, what she wants. So okay. she, all she needs now, she's set up, she's set up. Yeah. She just needs to ask for what she wants. Close yeah. the deal. That's yeah. what I've learned. That's yeah. what you need. That's what, what you learned today. That's what I've learned today. Oh. But it's all good. But yeah. get to the point. Yeah. Get to the point. Get to the point. It's got to dry. It's got to dry. It's got to dry. It's got to dry. This much. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm going to do okay. You know, because I already have companies in mind that I'm going to sort of like te test out um, this concept with. The <laughs> I come from an economics marketing background. I have worked in management consulting, I have worked in hair products, I've worked, I had a shop selling hair products. I've worked in kind of a range of different businesses. As the editor, my job is to make sure that the whole magazine speaks to the reader. So my day to day is looking at the editorial strategy, you know, looking at the content looking at you know also writing I still I still write a bit which a lot of editors don't necessarily do but I still write quite a bit and just supporting the other parts of the business so my job is to go out and in a way be ambassador for the magazine so and TV and so opportunity to you know feel like like apply like like and yeah, give money give money to see what they challenge circle the failure in the night I think I think how can I feel like what's not the failure in the canal of business I feel like how they what 98 in the canal of IT company a gig waiting for Kisile in 2000 and the United got shut down a couple of months after that so Mutashi, I was like, no, it was a failure. I can't give up, whatever happened. I was always taught, life is not about what happens to you. It's about what you do when it happens. In terms of employees, it's a big, you know, it's a bigger business. So now we're just a piece of it. So there's Destiny Man, but there's Destiny. There's custom publishing. So the business publishes Sabona magazine, for example, for SAA. And so in my team, specifically, there's, in terms of writers, there's, there's what four of us. It's fulfilling in being able to, you know, accomplish what we set out to do with every issue. It's fulfilling in terms of being able to ensure that, and to see that more and more people are engaging in the magazine, engaging with our website, and engaging with us. I can show you the individual things and go, you know, this thing is what defines me. Everything is a step towards the next thing. So. Just like Kimuna and Hanachin, I don't, I can't tell you that we kill in two years' time, or in five years' time, or in ten years' time. Um, I think Nelson Mandela said, you know, when you reach a plateau, all that happens is that you see another one in the distance. But you seem not to be doing anything. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I'm sorry to say that, but basically, that's that's the perception out there. I'm going to make a move against APC1. I'm Zanti for sure. This is all entrepreneur here to Utuming League. Utang and the mentor here. Umonges. Omnias are my task to make a win. This is a city time waits for no man. Right and early, Utuming League. Usbizel, last you can again. I'm trying to get ASAPC, a headfield, a pretor. Go by set here. Kalama task work. I'm going to go to the night. Gizzo, what does she have in store for us today? Ahe. Ahe. Get them an okay. Get them. 
Brighton early so Kisa Mobo Skuman Street or PTA. What are we here for? Um I'm here for my interview league with Kosi FM. Uh -huh. Um because yesterday we led the Bang Asanity tasks. Yes. And uh, one of the tasks I look for to create visibility for the brand, kickstart. Uh -huh. And um, I decided for the first thing that I need to do is to basically have an interview on radio so that I can let other people know that Kickstart is there and it's available. Yeah. So straight from Goi Go Kwezi Go FM, where you off to? I'm off to Cedar. Uh -huh. Um Basically, we're going to talk about that enterprise development proposal yeah. that we discussed yesterday. Mm -hmm. And he said that I must find a client that I can test it out with. Yeah. So I'll be testing it out to Cedar. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I'm very excited of the essence, about that. Mo. It is, hey? hey. Right and early. Cool. Okay. All right. All, All the shop. best. All right. Shop, Moja. Shop. Moja. I give feel like quick crazy. The reception was very good. I met with the producer, I think, Lady Chili, and um, the presenter of Luminawe, the show. Usa stumi ngi limla le loko kuzi FM uzutla mele imekezin waibi zangu buti kickstart nati se kickstart na e galisi kati chele liti nza kwenye galu shanta. Ah he. Ani njani? Kwa na wina njani. La pas kona kuno kanga se avuga se kumge loko kuzi FM munga kwenye uzutla chele ga features ananga awe chele ga nani njengo stumi ngi. Banku bilor ki Kenya si Zulu ni, you know, because I think si Zulu is the closest in in the belle. Okay, I get my lamin with Tumi Lee. Um, I put my a hammer scroll. My Zulu is non-existent. I wouldn't say it's bad. It's it's non-existent. But get Zulu. So how buwa get Zulu? But how get buwa sound retarded? Gup tisanga nganga nuto ma mi kezi na nganga chela omo yimundo. What does it really take? Ah, sure. A lot of thinking. Sanso nakani. Like think um, and planning. Kore. Mm -hmm. You know, keep at your magazine for man, and why go it? Because you must have a reason why. Okay. What's your target? Uh, target market yaka ke but we have a in terms of businesses and people that are already in business. Am I challenges? Girl, can I be zanena? I go magazine. Um, challenges. They always been basically financial. Kidi challenge. That's the challenge. Do we overcome? Okay, last one was the solution. Um, I think first of all, my mom came through. Okay. Um, I too suck up with a thing. My mom is on pension right now. I had to. Yeah, I get on Musayet. And when she said that, I was okay with it because I could see her was coming from a good place, and she said it in jest. A bad thing, but in a form of a business question. If you want to start a business or own business already, you have a question. We have expert here in a good doctor fitzroy invest. Or a question, and then we respond, and then they help you out. Yeah. Because I can learn the system English. All right. Ah. Yeah, I will. Um, Kazanoko Ikokozi FM. We had a very interesting interview. Um, they wanted to find out about who I am, how I started the magazine, and they also wanted me to give, you know, young people advice. And they really wanted me to also talk about the challenges. So it went very, very well. And now uh, we're going to see that. Um, yeah, the meeting is set up. We just have to make sure that we wrap up quickly, Roba Bonagamola, and obviously go present the proposal of a partnership. Hake Fitla Gosida, Keko Paneli, the guys from the marketing department, Ineli Beverly Kame, um, and Tabo Mudimani. The reason why I'm here today is basically to do a follow up on a discussion mm -hmm. that we had on Thursday. Okay. Um, and um, basically on Thursday you told me to go and put together a proposal, mm -hmm. which obviously I'll be coming through today to present. I think I will start by basically explaining my objective and why I'm here. Yeah. I was scared. I think you... <laughs> um, you're nervous because you're thinking, are they going to receive it well, you know? All the entrepreneurs that we feature in our publication, they will also, mm -hmm. we've just partnered with Equiquizy FM, so yeah. they'll also be profiled on Equiquizy. So okay. they get print, they get radio. And we feel like in order for us to go out there and reach more entrepreneurs, we actually really need your help. Mm -hmm. And what I like about um, the idea of you guys have buying four pages is that you also have your own stories to tell. Mm -hmm. But quite honestly, people out there don't really know what you guys do. You seem not to be doing anything. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I'm sorry to say that, but basically that's, that's the perception out there. I would really like for you guys to appoint me as the CEDA brand ambassador. You'll be able to chip in. I just want to make sure yeah. that I just go through okay. all the items. I do not feel like that's a lot to ask because the man He said to me, "Get in there and tell them what you want." In terms of the the you know um, the vision that I see in terms of financial support is 
you guys helping us to sort of like cover operational expenses? Just to make it clearer for you, uh, how CEDA works, we're going to take this through to our executive, okay. uh, of which uh, they will also uh, look at it probably at the level of EXCO. Because we are an agency of government, mm -hmm. th there's, there's procedures okay. to be followed. You know, it's either a three quotation or a tender, but in a proposal format which is uh, unique, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, the, the certain uh, steps that we'll have to get advised from procurement. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Oh, you're you. welcome. The response from CEDA, from where I was sitting, I think it was very positive. Mm -hmm. How did it go? Uh, it went very well. I think it was well received. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I got what I wanted. They listened to me. I think they now the next step is to take it to senior management for decision. Yeah, no, let's take a walk. Let's okay. take a walk and chat. So do you feel that, you know, this is as far as it is, you've done enough with your tasks? When we part ways right now, we call it something else or we're just going to take it easy, work goes on? It doesn't help me to just be sitting at the office doing nothing, so I have to go out there, make sure that I'm visible. Remember, we talked about mm -hmm. something being visible, being out there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. All right. This is when you and I part ways. I've yeah. seen that Horo Osebilize Kathata from moving to Igokwezi right now, Noli Moleko Sida. Hopulore, I get a Hosane on a presentation that you need to prepare. Yes. So, presentation is how Hotabonali judges are on day three. Okay. Now, you must remember Honali Chalete for making moves. All right. So, our judges will use their discretion to decide on whether investor Okay, go business in your house. Okay. I don't know, do you think you'll be ready, you'll be prepared? I think I can ace it. Well, I'm going to be able to get the money to get the business. I'm going to be able to handle the business very well. Tomorrow, we will pitch at how much I'll just wait. Who knows how much will she get? There is 10,000 rand at stake. Will she get 2,000 rand? Will she get zero? Ay, she has a much I'll just wait. I'll tell you. I'm going to be able to get the money. I'm going to be able to get the money. Why do we need to invest in Kickstarter? Hey, to Mingling. Hi, Sia. Lega. Keteng manokai. Awa keteng aosi. Di just now rona duye mete kamahari. Three of them. Yeah. Ato utwa pitch ya how. How do you feel? I feel okay. I feel good. Eh. Uh huh. Great. Yeah, get it. I'm just gonna go in there and do my thing. Sharp, sharp. All the best, ine. Okay. Let's meet our resident judges. Tidi Kobar, Chief Operations Officer of Matema Kukru. She holds a BA in Communications and Public Administration, as well as a Management Development Program from UNISA School of Business Leadership. Nicholas Regisford, Chief Executive Officer, Leadership 2020. He is a seasoned media, marketing, music, and entertainment expert. Good afternoon, judges. This is the magazine that I'll, that I'll be talking about, Kickstart. And this is the BE investment proposal that my mentor and I discussed in order to create visibility for the brand. There's a copy for you, a copy for you as well. Here's a copy and a copy of the magazine. You're welcome to keep them. Thanks. Welcome to Pitch Day to Ming Lee. You've got four minutes to tell us why we should invest 10,000 Rand in your business. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Over to you, let's go. We are in the business of educating the bottom end of the market in a language and context that they're most familiar with. We do it by way of translation in all the official languages of South Africa, and also we teach them by way of fiction through the children's books that we publish. We also educate them by way of facts and figures and fiction that we provide in our business magazine called Kickstart. Uh, basically, today I'm here to tell you what we plan on, do, on doing should we get the 10,000 Rand. Uh, my mentor and I discussed two issues in terms of the problems that we discovered in, you know, in the company. The first one was the fact that we are under-resourced and we decided that we need to come up with a BE investment proposal. Um, basically look for ED funders because um, should they actually partner with a BE company, they actually stand to gain points. And Tumili Studios is a level 3 BE company. So one of the tasks um, that was put forward is to actually come up with a BE investment proposal, which I've done. And the second thing that we came up with was the fact that Kickstart is a new brand. We're actually sitting on a second issue right now, was to come up with a visibility strategy. How are we going to get the brand out there and have it known? So part of the money will go towards basically financing the visibility strategy as you've seen it right now. Um, we are national, we are available in all CNA stores, 
nationwide as well as Sasol and Engine garages. And we received a lot of, of calls from our readers from Mpumalanga and Lipopo that says that there is a market there and they would like Hiksa to actually go to their provinces. So part of the money will actually be used to implement their visibility strategy. We're targeting four provinces in particular. We're targeting Limpopo, we're targeting the Northwest, we're targeting the Free State and KZN. And um, if you look at the uh, visibility strategy, we realize that it has an SMME section where I basically would like to basically go and speak at SMME events and conferences to create the visibility that the, visibility that the brand needs. There's also a mass media at, um, segment there where we actually need to be forming strategic, strategic relations relationships with radio and TV. And another element is basically to create more visibility in terms of online platforms. So we've decided, um, given the budget, that we're going to allocate 2,500 each to each province. In as far as um, the Impopa is concerned, we will use the money to actually travel to those provinces. We're targeting African language radio stations. So in Limpopo, we're targeting Tobela FM, and the money will go towards basically transportation, um, to Limpopo, at, uh, to Tobela FM, as well as accommodation, because it's quite a distance from where we stay. So we're looking at a two-day trip and you know an overnight stay. And in as far as Northwest is concerned, we're targeting Mutsweding FM. The same story happens there, two-day trip, um, one night overnight um, stay. And um, Free State, we're targeting um, the city FM. And we also would like to go to Ukozi FM, because it's one of the biggest. Thank you very much for your presentation. Uh, if I was just to ask in one word, <clears throat> and to summarize what you've been saying, yeah. why do we need to invest in Kickstart? You have to invest in Kickstart because Kickstart magazine is targeting a market that has been basically unserviced so far. Like I said, it's the bottom end of the market. Uh, we've made history for an unknown brand. We actually sold close to 60% of our first edition print run. We didn't even spend a dime on marketing. People didn't know who we, we were. And the distributor was very excited about it. And they said to us, you found a niche. Now we need to expand on that. That's why we need to go to different radio stations and make sure that we're known as the publication that actually really goes to the people. Uh, Timely, good yes. presentation. Well done. Thank you. Uh, but in future, we need to see the proposal beforehand so that we can be able to give you an informed feedback because in four minutes we will be unable to to see that okay and then in terms of I had a chance to look at your 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 profile and your research documents you mentioned that the magazine has got a zero budget what yes. do you mean by a zero budget there is a zero budget in the sense that I'm doing like I said to me studios as providing three services. We do translation services, we do children's books, and we do this, which is, Kickstart is a very sort of like new addition to the services that we provide. And it started really seriously on a zero budget because there wasn't really money allocated for it. All these other publications, they generate money for themselves. And if we take money from, because that's currently what we're doing, we actually use in translation and the books to fund this one. So it means the other um, businesses are going to suffer. So we decided Kickstart needs to start generating its own budget. Budget. That's why we never really sort of like advertised it because there wasn't quite honestly a budget for it. I haven't received any funding from anybody. My mom actually helps out. She uses her pension money to make sure that this copy goes out every single month. So there's really no budget. We try and allocate as much as we can. We're going to be deliberating as judges and then with Okay. Thanks. No, we agree. Yeah. Should we call it back in? Yes. Hey, welcome back. Thank How you. How do you feel? Nervous. We're going to give you feedback on your presentation, your pitch, and ultimately we're going to tell you about if you're successful or not with today's assignment, which was to come and collect money. Okay. So we'll start with uh, your mentor's feedback and take it from there. All right. 
So from that, you've completed the task in flying colors, and, and, and the judges will have agreed for you flying that very well. So okay. we give you full points oh, wow. uh, for, for, for that. So Thank you. And then, the one who is going to go to Muhammad's ground, if you can go I'm sure that I meant to, I'm sure we meant to go on another 20 calories instead of one that I'm alone. I made sure that I was there early. Exactly. And you were here two hours early as well for the pitch, which I loved. So, three months on that as well. You're right. Thanks. With the total points, it's 10. Mm -hmm. So, it's three for time management, four for problem solving, and three for completion of tests. So, you got 10 out of 10. Oh wow! Okay. Thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. This is great. Well done. I think that the mix of content, the way in which it's put together, the style of the communication is very relevant for where we are right now. <clears throat> I want to wish you all the best. I think you come to making moves knowing that you've already won the money. Congratulations, the 10,000 is yours. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Tumingling has received 100% score from the judges. 10 points plus 10,000 rand. That means she is now joint mover with Steve. But 10 out of 10! <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. 10 out of 10. Yes. So, what's your 10 points? 10 points. What's your 10,000? 10,000. Yes. So, what's your 10,000? Yeah, I'm so excited. Huh? Yes. Uh -huh. So, where to from here? Now you've got the 10,000, you've got the 10 points. Where's Anta from okay. here? Okay. Implementation of the visibility strategy. I have to go to Tobila FM, like I said. I have to go to Mutsuading. I have to go to Lisedi. I have to go to Ukozi. I have yeah. to make it happen. 10,000, 10 out of 10. Uh -huh. All the best to you and I will catch up later. Right. Hopefully, let's have another one next round. Cool. Who knows? Shop, shop, bye. Right. Good luck. Bye bye. Who knows? You're good to go. Who buy no money? So, this means, I'm going to check it as Tony next year. We're making moves back. 10,000, you're okay. Gone. When I'm going to go to the SABC one, I'm going to go to the SABC one.